Hi, I'm Janice Smith Durkee. I am an artist in Santa Cruz, California, but not for long. I'm actually going to stay an artist, but I'm moving to Orlando. So um, I have some pieces of work that I would love to sell, and I've actually discounted the prices on. There are 10 paintings of local uh, and California landscapes, and I hope that you like them. If you are interested in them, please contact me via my website or my email or a text message and um, I would be happy to talk to you about them. They are discounted about 25% of my normal rate and then if you are out of the area I can certainly ship to you. Uh, we'll talk about shipping costs at that time. If you're local I can definitely do a contactless delivery. Uh, let me know if you're interested and um, oh this is in two videos so please watch both videos to get all 10 of the paintings. Thanks, enjoy. Hi, so this is the first picture that I'm selling. It is a large format painting, 24 inches by 40 inches in a canvas floater frame in gold. It's kind of a bronzy gold. It, it acts as a neutral really. And the canvas floater frame is actually, if you're not familiar with it, it actually nestles the canvas inside of it. So it has this kind of gap around. And it's really nice because it treats the, the painting itself as an art object, um, which it is, but uh, it's just a different way of framing, especially on a canvas. Um, so it, like I said, it's 24 by 30. Um, it is called Pigeon Point Shore, which is a place that's just north of Santa Cruz. It is up on Highway 1, just before you get to Pigeon Point Lighthouse. If you, there's an, a pullover that you can come out and you can walk down to the shore. There's some cliffs along the shore. It's really beautiful, amazing. And um, if you are looking north, you see Pigeon Point Lighthouse, which I have a painting of that too. Um, and when you're looking south, you see this. This painting was really physical for me to do. It had a lot of movement and there was, the wind was blowing and this marine layer was coming in. And I was really thinking about the abstraction of it all. Even though my paintings aren't abstract, I was dealing with that abstract quality of movement. Um, it has a really kind of quiet violence to it, if that makes any sense. It's the, the area up there, the harsh environment that these plants live in, and the rocks and the crashing of the waves, which is constant, um, actually bring out something in you uh, that is really primal. Um, it's not a serene flat beach where you would go and sip a Mai Tai. This place makes you think. Um, so if you're interested in this one, all of the details are right there and let me know. Thanks. Hi, this is the second painting I am selling during this uh, time I'm moving. Um, and this one is actually called House of Surf and Fog. And if you are familiar with Santa Cruz at all, you know exactly where this is. This is um, right along the coast on West Cliff, uh, right in Santa Cruz, can't miss it. It's where everybody walks, it's gorgeous there. And it's gorgeous every time of year, but especially in the winter time when we have these big amazing clouds and a very dramatic skies with this kind of marine layer coming in and enveloping our lighthouse. Uh, it's always kind of a tumultuous surf there. It's very rare for it to be anything but white caps and it has a really nice contrast with uh, the blues of the sky with the, the um, oh, what's the, oh, that ice plant um, that is growing all along the cliffs here. Um, so if you are interested in this 15 by 24 framed, painting on canvas, let me know all the details right there. Hi, we're on number three of the paintings that I am selling before moving. Uh, this painting is actually called That Time of Day. It is 18 by 24, surrounded by a black wooden frame, very hardy frame by the way, it's really a nice frame. Um, it is called That Time of, a day, of the Day for a reason. My friend Regina and I went walking in a little area south of Santa Cruz called Moss Landing and it has a lot of wetlands there and she knows a lot about that stuff. She, she did that in a, a former career. She's a painter now. So um, 
I really loved the light that was hitting in the contrast between the blues and the oranges of the pickle weed. And then I had this idea to create that cloud system over the top from past uh, pictures that I have taken at, at Moss Landing and how the marine layer runs into um, the actual cumulus clouds that are coming over. It, this little marine layer here and then these big puffy clouds. I just, oh, I, I love it. And the light kind of gets filtered through, which makes these oranges kind of more intense. And if you see this painting in person, you can see some really deep purples that really bring out the richness of that pickle weed um, and the, the blueness of the, um, of the water. Uh, it's one of my favorite paintings, actually. I, I enjoy this one. It's, it has an abstract quality to it that I really love, with also at the same time having some figurative qualities as well. So if you are interested in this one, all the details are right there. Thanks. This is number four of the paintings I'm selling. This one is called the Pigeon Point Lighthouse. Remember in the first painting I showed you was Pigeon Point Shore. That was when you were looking south. Um, and this is when you're looking north along that same, same coast. This is what you see on the other side. It's rocky shores, beautiful. There's that lighthouse up there. This is a gorgeous area along Highway 1. Just beautiful and wild. It gets amazing, even more amazing than because it's not overrun with people, you know, it's, there's just this untouched wild quality to that, that area. So out here, a little story, this is a really important um, painting to me and a place to me because when we first moved to uh, Santa Cruz seven years ago, one of the first things we did was take a class with this guy named Dennis who used to run adventure sports. Um, and he's a diver, a deep sea diver, and he would take people out for fun um, on the seafood foraging trips. And so it was our first introduction to the ocean. It was crazy. Uh, when he gathered us all together on a Friday night, we got our assignments and our recipes. And then we spent all day Saturday getting all the other supplies that we needed. And then Sunday we went, met bright and early right here along this little beach down here. And he gave us a tutorial on what sea vegetables we were getting and mussels and how to take the mussels off. And we even had sea urchin and champagne. It was super fun. We put our wetsuits on the first time we had those on since living here. And we, we being my son, my husband and I, and a few others ventured out to this rock and actually scraped off all the mussels we could get in a Home Depot bucket. And so when it was time to go back, my son was complaining because he didn't want to climb along the rocks that were all through here. So Dennis said, well, let's just have the ocean take you home. And they jumped in backwards right here and floated into shore. And my husband did it too, leaving me with a Homer bucket of mussels. So I dumped them, uh, couple of times so I feel like I earned my stripes seafood foraging. So this little guy is 20 by 20. It's also in a frame that is a canvas floater frame. It is not on canvas. It is on a board. Uh, it's an archival board. I have prepared it properly but it is on a board. It's a little hardier um, and it is acrylic too. So if you're interested in this let me know. Info is right here. Okay. So we're on painting number five. This one is called Weekday Zen. It is a 12 by 24 on canvas painting of the shoreline on Highway 1 uh, going north of Santa Cruz. And I spend several days going up to Pigeon Point, up and, up and down these beaches. You just don't get tired of them at all. And plus the, the marine layer was really putting on a show that day and the ocean was beautiful. But I didn't even know this place existed. I had pulled over to let my dog kind of stretch his legs a little bit. He's an old guy. And I saw a path that led back to this beach. It was along a boardwalk and we walked through all this beautiful, um, brushy, sandy area. And we got here and we just sat there for a couple of hours and let his big old ears flop in the, in the wind and just really super enjoyed the, the fresh smell of the ocean and the warmth of that I think it was probably in late October, just the warmth of the October sun and the movement of the clouds and, and uh, the lull of the, uh, the ocean. He and I both almost fell asleep. He did actually, <laughs> and I almost did. Um, so if you are interested in number five, 
let me know. Info's right here.